Okay, guys, another little quickie going on here. <clears throat> this is, again, about taking a screenshot on a Macintosh computer. So all you got to do is open up Terminal. As you see, I got it open up here. Again, go here and type in Terminal, or you can click uh, uh, go find it in under Utilities. Um, so once you got Terminal up, is all you're going to want to do, this is to change the location. So when, when, you, when you default, take a screenshot on your Mac, it saves it somewhere. You know, you, you, you want to change that location to a different spot. Maybe you already changed it. Maybe it's at the default. You want to change it. This is all you got to do. Bring up Terminal, and you're going to type this in. It's, this is in the description. Again, if you can't read it or can't listen and understand what I'm saying, it's in the description, and you just type it, copy it, whatever, whatever. Defaults, that's a plural. It has an S in the end. Write com.apple.screencapture one word <clears throat> space location uh, space you're gonna do that little squiggly line over by the one key oh you gotta have hold shift and press it <clears throat> and then you're gonna hit uh, backslash uh, documents or you know you could actually put it wherever you want um, so I'm gonna show you you know uh, just under your documents you can leave it there or you could do you know wherever you want to go to from there you, you got to make sure this locations there if the folder is not currently there um, you, uh, it's not going to create the folder for you so you could do documents pictures or I think that's under documents I don't know anyway so you're gonna put that in and you're gonna hit enter some people this doesn't work for so I'm not gonna hit enter because I'm not gonna change mine but I'm gonna show you a different um, one that you can put in. It's going to be the same thing all the way up to oop, location. It's going to be defaults, space right, space com, dot apple, dot screen capture, one word, space location, <clears throat> uh, space, you might as well put this one in because if the first one doesn't work for some people, you just do this one, it'll work. it should work for everyone. Again, this is in the description. You're going to hit slash users, slash um, your username, which of mine is going to be Kyle, uh, slash you know wherever you want to put it uh, if you started at users that should that's that's just basically saying you know if the little squiggly line didn't work um, and skip to the folder you're looking for you just start off here so you're gonna start from the top at users you're gonna go to Kyle then from there you can go to you know like we were before uh, I think we went uh, documents uh, slash uh, pictures or you could even go to the desktop whatever the path to your desktop is from there and then you're just going to hit enter. Once you hit enter, after all of that, if that makes sense, you know, if you don't understand, leave a comment, send me a personal direct message, I'll help you out with it. Um, after you hit enter, it'll look like nothing happened. You're going to want to, it'll show another line. I'm not going to change it because I like where mine's saved now. Um, you're just going to hit, uh, type in this next line. It says kill all, one word, K I L L A L L, space system, U I server, one word. You're going to hit enter. It's going to reboot your little taskbar up here. Things are going to flash. You're going to reboot all that good stuff, and uh, you should be good to go. Then you just check, take a little screenshot, and see where it saved it to. Screenshot, uh, the one that I use, Command Shift 4. It'll bring up your little arrow key like this. You can go like this and select the portion that you want to be a screenshot. Go like that. It'll save it to the location that you just put it on. If you're having an error still show up, you're typing something in wrong. Your path is not correct, so bring up a, a finder page uh, or finder you know window and uh, look exactly what the location is going to be type it exactly as it shows if you don't know off the top of your head and then hit enter and that should make it work again if you don't if you have a question leave it in the comments give me a private message I'll answer all the comments and that's how we do if you want to change the file extension I have a tutorial for that it'll be in an annotation on the screen things like that check it out okay thank you I appreciate it I love you